Testing, one, two. Okay. Uh, okay. We gotta get in the center of the- Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've done this. And I wanted to just give an update on what's going on with my life. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I've spent 95% of quarantine completely, utterly alone. Alone? Yes, all alone. Like literally in this room. That's why it's all like decorated and nice because I'm a Taurus and I like my comfortable spaces. I've spent so much time in this room by myself for the past May, June, July, August, up to like seven months. This has been like my prison and also my haven. When quarantine happened, I was devastated. I, you know, I, I substitute teach during the day and I love being a part of the community. I love teaching. I love connecting with kids and teens and, you know, like just being a part of uh, a community, I guess. What should I do with this time? I asked myself. I realized that I really wanted to take this time to invest in music. Now's the time. As soon as I deliberated on that, I began to waste a lot of time internet surfing and uh, playing video games, mainly League of Legends. Oh God. This went on for about like two or three weeks where I would just do anything but music to the point where I started becoming a very angry person. Like I would lose in these video games and I would just like swear out people on my team, swear out the enemy and just like at, at one particular point, I remember like taking a step back and was like, whoa, this is not the kind of person that I am, that I want to be. I'm ashamed. And so I created a contract, a two-year contract where, uh, and I share this with all my friends, my, my group of five friends that I have, Du Bois, shout out to Du Bois. If I touch another video game for the next two years, I'm going to pay each of them $100. And that was signed in May. To really break it down and make it simple, I was afraid to, to really dedicate all this time to really learning music and to really like create tracks. So I created a deadline to release an EP in August and I stuck to that deadline. Psych, it was a lot more work than I thought it would be, but I did release my EP, I think on September 11 or 12. And it was, it was crazy, dude. Like the reception was awesome. Uh, although, you know, I'm not in it for like the, the validation or anything, but it's nice to be uh, recognized by your peers saying like, yo, this is pretty cool. I, I enjoyed this because you feel like you, you know, you gave value to somebody and that's, that's awesome. I released that EP and I hired a vocal teacher. I've been taking vocal lessons through Zoom for the past three months. I, I bought a program for singing. So I've been doing like exercises and stuff like that for the past two or three months as well. And I've been really trying uh, to essentially face something that I've been afraid of doing for 10 years. Literally, I remember in 2010 when I graduated high school, I was in my room trying to pirate some, I don't condone pirating, no, 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 uh, singing programs, and I was learning how to play the acoustic guitar, and I thought it would be so fun to just like pursue music, like singing and making music and producing and, and even rapping. I've been, I've enjoyed rapping since high school. I was one of the first people in my group of friends in high school to acquire a car. And for those of you who are the first to drive in your friend group, you can relate that you become the group chauffeur. It's like, it's okay, we can go to the mall, Will can drive. It's like, no, 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 no. my mom doesn't have to pick me up. Will can just take me home. And that's, that's how it was. I enjoyed freestyling at the time. I had a whole CD full of like uh, freestyle rap beats. I would make it a condition that anyone who asked me for a ride, they would have to freestyle with me, at least a few bars. This was great. I either really enjoyed the ride or people would not would not ask me because they would say things like, I don't know if you should ask him for a ride. Uh, he's going to ask you to rap. Walk away, Mark. Just walk away. Yeah, I really enjoyed the idea of making music. And it wasn't until this quarantine happened. I'm not saying that the corona pandemic was beneficial, but I think myself being enclosed in a space isolated and forced to really face those hard thoughts of existential uh, crisis which is what I essentially went through, was the best thing that could have ever happened to me at this phase in my life. I'm just feeling like I'm actually really progressing at something that has meant something to me and it feels solid. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good place, more so than I was in the beginning of the year. I look forward to returning to school and just teaching and, you know, being a part of the community again. But 
I also feel like this phase was very, very necessary in a way. I, I just feel more in my skin, less out of body, less going through the motions. That's basically it to sum it up. Uh, quarantine hit. I locked myself in my room. I quit video games. I wrote a contract. I faced a lot of depression, anxiety, existential crisis, and a lot of resistance and uh, pouring effort into something that I've always wanted to do. I ended up, after facing all the darkness for weeks at a time, actually just pouring myself into music and really learning it from the ground up. Pr I produced an EP. I've still been working on music. I've been consistent, and I feel pretty good. Now things are beginning to make a little sense. And here I am making a video because I want to make videos again, dude. It feels nice to like express myself and connect with you, connect with the soul fam, uh, and engage with you guys in the comments. Like, that's it's just so much fun. And just sharing my life and my ideas and really strange skit ideas with you. So, yeah, that's been my update. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next week.